Some say they love the rain, but open an umbrella when it pours While others thrive and dancing in it From the very beginning, Tyler Rain had music in her blood Coming from parents who both worked in the music industry With heavy hitters in the game, like Mary J. Blige or Britney Spears So for Tyler Rain, pursuing music was almost like a birthright That resulted in Tyler appearing in movies, getting a shoe deal at a very young age And eventually even ended up on Lifetime's popular show, The Rap Game But after all that success at such a young age a ton of doors should have been open, but nothing in life is ever guaranteed. And occasionally, we're hit with storms that try and force us off our path. And figuring out how to maneuver in them is pivotal to staying afloat. So where is Tyler Rain now? And what is she up to? Well, like always, we'll dive into it. But first, let's take a look back and see how Tyler took the reins in controlling her career. Yo, appreciate you for checking out the video. If you end up liking the video, help me out and like the video for me. Subscribe for more content and comment down below. But without further Further ado though, let's go ahead and blast right back into this. Born on October 21st in 2001, Chelsea Smith, aka Tyler Rain, grew up in Los Angeles and from the very beginning seemed to be destined to do something related to music. Her mother London and her father Chino both had tasted the music industry with London being a background dancer for acts like Mary J. Blige and also a member of a girl group and her father Chino was a background singer who even toured with the likes of Britney Spears, Charlie Wilson and new addition so for Tyler at the time she didn't know exactly what or how but she knew she wanted to be a star and growing up where she did it was almost impossible to not have those aspirations Tyler like most people's life had ups and downs and with everything that she was dealing with she would start using music as an outlet for her emotions she even had a girl group that she called Tyler Rain even though it was spelled differently at the time partly named from Chelsea's middle name Tyler mixed with her cousin's name Rain they would eventually separate though and Tyler would make the name hers locked into achieving in her goals, Tyler would announce herself into the industry by making a bold move by shaving her head, embracing her inner rock star. She would start auditioning for roles and even landing spots on movies like Triangle Park, where she even had a lead role starring as Deborah Reed, even a role in House of Lies. Also, she worked a lot on her dancing at the time, even appearing as a background dancer for the group I Am Five for a song that was featuring Bella Thorne. Tyler's music star would be inspired by another young star going viral, Willow Smith, who's with my head song took over for a while for the younger generation inspiring tyler to post her own dance video online a video that ended up racking up over a million views and still up today is a monument to one of her first viral videos on her mom's page she would officially drop her first song in an hour i haven't done my book. a superstar yes that was little old t-wayne singing in the booth, singing a pop record. I really wanted to be like the black Kesha. In her younger years, she was fully embracing her mini mogul. So much that was actually one of the things that she went by and branded herself after. Always finding time to go downtown to feed the homeless and even trying to start a nonprofit to help other kids that were trying to become young stars. She would officially get into rapping around the age of 12. And that's when I recorded my first rap song, Rain on Hollywood. Oh, boom, we recorded that, did that, put that out. I took a break and that's when the fuck shit started. At 14 and 15, it, hanging around people in the industry who were slowly trying to go for me. But in a big change for her life, around 2015, her family would decide to move to Maryland for a little bit. Something that I'm sure shook Tyler's life up some, but it also allowed her to make new connections. Even doing a show that featured another castmate from the rap game, Little Key. They eventually moved back to LA and Tyler really went after her rap career. She would get an opportunity to work with a well-known manager and talent developer in the West Coast music game. Michael Robinson, aka B. Mike Rob, someone who helped open a lot of doors for Tyler in her early career. They first announced their partnership during an interview. A move that sparked a ton of opportunities allowed Tyler to do shows, opening up for hip hop legends like Busta Rhyme, doing school tours, and even getting an opportunity to release her own shoe under Vlado Footwear. She is really making moves and also making a ton of music. Her team seemed to back her dreams fully, something Tyler would have mixed feelings on later in her life. Graduated through computer. I never went to prom, never been on a date, never been did none of the regular teenage shit because I was pursuing my career. I don't regret it though. And that's when I went to the beach to go have a talk with God and my twin. Her name is Charlie. She's like my other alter ego. Um, she's me before anger management and therapy. That's what Charlie is. 
she was chasing her dreams at that time and her words, but she also sacrificed her childhood as well. From the 6th to 12th grade, she was homeschooled and just focused on her career. Eventually, she was contacted in 2017 to be on Lifetime's popular show, The Rap Game. She did her initial interviews and her psych evaluation, but wasn't contacted with a date to actually be on the show, so she kept grinding and waiting. Eventually, even checking in the therapy herself to make sure she was prepared to be on national TV. Finally, sometime in 2018, they contacted her back to let her know she was going to be on season 5 of the show. Season 5 was the last season of the rap game and was full of beef, battles, and any other tactic used to create controversy. This season's cast had Eli Triplett, Naya Kassan, Queen Amaya, all three who have must-hear stories, so make sure y'all check those out if you haven't already. And if you already have, appreciate you. But season 5 also has Sayer, who will be the next video that comes out, so make sure y'all locked in for that one, because it for sure will contain a lot of unheard stuff from behind the scenes of the show. But Tyler came into the house, working her way up from the bottom, and the other rappers in the house are beginning were giving her competition. Unfortunately, the competition wasn't the only thing she was battling. When an unfortunate circumstance occurred with the asthma that she had since a child, striking up when she got to the ATL climbing, causing her to have to go to the hospital with only being able to use a portion of her lungs. She bounced back quick, only for her mother to also end up having to go to the hospital, leaving everybody in the house feeling emotional. Emotions would stay high with constant battles in the house, leaving most of the cast not liking at least one other person in the house. Although battles, in my opinion, wasn't Tyler's best moments, she was a performer. And if there's a one consistent trait through all the winners, throughout all the seasons, is that they got JD most hyped during their performances, especially the last one. Tyler watched previous seasons and knew where to focus on, and it paid off. She won the chain, celebrating that night among family and friends. I think everybody from the show had some sort of potential, and sometimes it just takes a little bit more time to reach it. Even if you look back at Lotto, she put in years of work before she finally blew up just a few years ago. But after winning the competition, Tyler would go through a lot of emotion that eventually caused her to have a mental breakdown, even having to check back into therapy after her time on national TV in an attempt to work through some of the trauma that she went through, living with cameras in her face for months, helping her find a better way to deal with the hate. Tyler wanted to really express herself through her music, and although she loved to rap, she felt in her heart she was a true musician, fully loving music as a whole and not just rap solely. And her inspirations in music show you just how diverse her music taste was, being inspired by the likes of Missy Elliott, New Edition, Britney Spears, Rihanna, or even newer rappers like Rico Nasty. All different styles when mixed together become a new genre as she titles it, Throp or Trap, Rap, Rock, and Pop. Tyler would fall fully into her rock star persona and experiment a lot with her sound, even venturing into Indian trap. She was making her way in the industry and distancing herself from the show. She seemed to always keep getting brought back and having to defend herself again. She started trying all sorts of new things, but luckily for her, she was able to stay close to intuitive entertainment, even though she didn't stay close to Jermaine Pre. Intuitive Entertainment was the company behind the rap game show, still posting clips from the show to this day. And they even worked with Tyler on a second miniseries after the show years later, where she and the cast would discuss new slang on a show called Slang. With everything going on in her life, it's difficult for fans to remember that all of these people are just regular humans, something that would become all too real when Tyler would end up going missing, leaving her mom asking online if anyone had seen her. Tyler would end up explaining this time of her life um, I had to disconnect from the world. <laughs> I had to disconnect from it. That is my coping mechanism. I internalize, I disappear. And in that moment, I feel like I need to disappear. At the beach all night, yes, I've been at the beach all night. This was... Space. But she didn't seem to let any of this stuff stop her. She would continue to keep grinding, working on collab, and even getting a second shoe release. That's around with one of her mentors, famous West Coast rapper Yo-Yo, who backed her throughout her career, would crown her as Princess of the West Coast, crowning her as one of the next up-and-coming artists out in that area. It seemed as if everything was clear for Tyler to take off, but just as rain often does, sometimes there's an untimely storm that rages in, and it seemed to change the path of Tyler's flight when an unbelievable disaster would strike Tyler. Tyler while she was preparing to attend an event. A hair can would explode, leaving her wounded, causing significant damage to her face. The pictures of the damage caused trauma so bad, I don't even think I can show it with all due respect on YouTube. So if you do end up wanting to see her progression, follow her on IG and drop a like and some words of support. Unfortunately, Tyler also had to deal with another health crisis as her mother, Miss London, was also battling with lupus. Best wishes to the both of them in their recovery. This is what makes this story a little bit more complicated to me compared to others. 
Tyler put her childhood aside to chase her goals and put the work in to actually get into the industry, but seemed to be 50-50 on what she experienced, comparing her outlook on Hollywood to the biblical story of Sodom and Gomorrah. Because we all know the music industry is Sodom and Gomorrah. Like, I really had to go back and really look at pictures and videos of me before the music industry had jaded me. Like I used to be in love with it. So now that I found myself and now that I'm back to myself, I finally found the love to do it again. It feels like I'm just doing what I love to do. It don't feel like a job no more. It don't feel like, oh, I'm being forced to do this. No, it just feels like this is second nature now because I don't have to do what everybody else is doing or what everybody else is trying to turn me into or the mini me's that people were trying to make me into. I'm going to keep it a stack. Don't enter the music industry if you're not 18. I'm going to keep it 100. Like, don't do it. And if you're not about to turn 18 or if you don't have... Why would you say... Why do you say that? Because it takes a lot on a 16-year-old. Even though I I, I looked strong, it, I was 16. Like, I didn't have to endure half the shit I endured at 16. At 16, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to endure the internet and the social media and the music industry itself. So I didn't have to go through that at 16. But I did. So if you... Want to get in here, be 18 and up, please. And I'm saying that for your mental sanity and your emotional sanity. I took back everything that people said to me, like, I need to be this, I need to be that. So I finally took the reins back. But even with all of that, it seems that she doesn't want to stay away. And if anything, maybe one day she'll continue her path. One of the best things to do when it's raining is to just let it rain. Those who can find peace in the storms are often able to wash away the worries and pain from the past. But if you stuck around to the end of this video, I appreciate you. You're definitely a real one. We got one last video. Video on the rap game and that'll be my boy Sayer. So make sure y'all get prepared and ready to check that out. But like always, it's your boy Stone Astro. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. But we out of here, man. So go ahead and drop that outro.